we go from having too much water on the Gulf Coast to too much fire on the West Coast. Now, the Latuna Brush Fire is now the largest in the history of Los Angeles after burning more than 5,800 acres of land. And this is according to fire service officials. Three homes have been lost in the fire so far, with hundreds of residents evacuated from Glendale, Burbank, and L.A. While the fire remains at 10% containment, the mandatory evacuation order for Burbank was lifted on Saturday night. Two firefighters have been treated for dehydration, but so far, no injuries have been reported. Around 800 firefighters from multiple jurisdictions have been deployed to battle the blaze, this again according to the L.A. Fire Department. A brush fire started in the Verdugo Mountains at about 1.30 p.m. 1:30 p.m. Friday. Gusting winds and high temperatures caused the blaze to become unpredictable and erratic. And fires are often that way. I used to be a volunteer firefighter and now that works. Anyway, leaving officials unable to give a firm prediction on all areas potentially at risk. The Latuna Fire is burning in four different directions to include down over the hills toward Burbank as well as north through the canyons above the 210 Freeway, read a statement from the LAFD released late Friday night. Fanned by 40 mile per hour winds, the flames rose to 100 feet in height, forcing the closure of a nine mile stretch of the 210 Freeway. So that is quite a devastating terrible fire out there um again you know you have you have this flood water in the houston and around the texas gulf course course coast excuse me you know folks it bothers me whenever i say gulf coast lately i say gulf course i don't know what it is i don't even golf that's the strangest thing and then you have this uh, devastation in the la area just goes to show you how nature works Anyway, I will leave you a link to this, folks. And when it comes to links, I'd ask you please to check out the link. I have a link to a free read of Chapter 1 of my new fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer's Story. And Chapter 1 is called Fake News. And if you are a watcher of world events, this would be a book that would probably interest you. It's a book about America right now. There's a link to that down in the description area below the video where it says plugs. There's also a link to some music. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Share, like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the, uh, the bell icon to uh, get email notifications when I post new content. And as always, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind, that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let his perfect peace that transcends all understanding guard your heart and mind. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you next time around.